And every day is No Makeup Monday for Chun Felix from Opus 9 Steakhouse. How, how much time did you spend on your makeup today, Two Chun? hours for this hair. Two hours for your hair. How about this part right. here? Oh, that took like a second. Just like that. All right. All right. So again. once again, this is uh, Chun Felix from Opus 9 Steakhouse and Schlesinger Steakhouse in Newport News. He's here with a special preview of the upcoming History Bites event coming to the Mariner's Museum. And that means, in case you didn't see, we got some... That's some giant steaks right there. What are you going right to We're doing Wagyu Tomahawk ribeyes right here. Look at this. So, Something big. on the menu there. They are on nine. the menu, yes. We do them as a special every night. So Special every night. Special and uh, every we're going to be talking about uh, History Bites, which is coming up in a couple of weeks. That's, That's going to be March on 8th. Yeah. March 8th. At and, the Mariners and Museum. And it's all about the Civil War. Exactly. Abraham we're going to go back and do old-fashioned kind of food. Uh, I think we're going to do corned beef hash. And other people want to do fried chicken and uh, skilly galley, whatever right, that right. is. And, that kind of crazy stuff. But All right. Hopefully we win. We'll see what happens. Very nice. We'll get started in the kitchen in just a minute, so stick around. We are back now with Chun Felix uh, from uh, from Opus 9 Steakhouse in Williamsburg and Schlesinger Steakhouse in Newport News. They're participating in the upcoming History Bites event coming to the Mariners Museum in March. And uh, Chun, like we said, what are you making for us today? It's a big old steak. Well, we're going to do, uh, yeah, Wagyu Tomahawk ribeyes. They do this at Schlesinger's. We do it at Opus 9 Steakhouse in Williamsburg. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to start off, though, by doing the roasted shallot butter. So we're going to take these shallots right here, just dice them up a little bit. And you said earlier to me on how to dice a shallot up, and that is it. Then we're just going to take these and wrap them in foil. Uh -huh. So I've got okay. already over here. We're going to put them in a 350-degree we'll we'll oven. So you're putting the shallots in, in the oven? Yes. We're going to put them in the oven. Just a little bit of salt, okay. A little bit of pepper, and just a little bit of butter, just so they don't burn up in there. Right now, there. Why, why would you just stick them in the oven? Why wouldn't you just throw them in the pan? I guess is that. Just uh, well, you want the flavor to soften a little bit. You don't want uh -huh. the strong oniony flavor. Okay. So if you just put them in, you can put them in there raw if you like that, but you want the the flavor to soften up and sweeten up a little bit as well. Okay. So. And but I already had some that already roasted earlier. What? So, but yeah, I didn't okay. cut these up. I kept these whole, so I'm going to cut these right. up real quick, and they're a little bit warm. Okay. Well, while you cut them up, tell us about Opus 9. How are things at the restaurant? Uh, things are good. You know, we're busy. We're doing lots of things. We're just finishing up restaurant month uh, this week. So this week, if you're up there, this is the last week you can uh, catch that. And then after that, we'll uh, just go back to doing our other menus, like early birds and um, uh, 10 for 10 at lunchtime. Located in Williamsburg, very beautiful restaurant. Pictures yes, online it is. look amazing. I've not been there, but it looks like a great restaurant. You should restaurant. check it out, 5143 Main Street. Wow, there you Newtown, go. Williamsburg. So. And then we're just going to mix our butter together right here. Now, obviously, you guys are known for uh, your steaks and beef. Uh, what else uh, is the restaurant known for? Uh, we have uh, steaks, of course, are what we're known for, but right. we also have. Um, Plenty of seafood, lobsters, shrimp, scallops, mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. Right, right. And like I said, we're, we're good for lunch. We do uh, a 10 for 10 menu. We have 10 items underneath, uh, under $10 every day. So a bargain. A bargain. There yeah, you go. Barely to McDonald's for that price. There you go. And then we're just going to mix this up real good. And I know you're, you're kind of excited about History Bites coming on March 8th to the Mariners Museum. Yes, we are. Uh, except we're going to do corned beef hash. It's the first year we've done it, and it's going to be a uh, like a Civil War kind of thing. Yeah, the theme is Civil War. I think there's an appearance so by doing... Abe Lincoln, and a lot of the, the food will be reminiscent of uh, the Revolutionary times and Civil War. So we're trying to yeah, trying mm -hmm. to get back to like an old school kind of cooking kind nice. of deal. So we're going to see what happens. Uh, like I said, it's the first year we've done it, and we're going to try to do corned beef hash. And now that I got the butter mixed up nice here, we're going to. Um, Season it up, our ribeyes here. I mean, those are some giant cuts of meat the, right there. They are huge. These I are see 20, that and I think of Fred Flintstone. These right are 28 ounce Wagyu tomahawk ribeyes. Yeah. Pretty popular uh, seller there at the uh, restaurant. They are. They are. We sell a few a night. Mm -hmm. uh, most times people share them. I don't understand that. I'll just eat one myself. But. Well, and that's, that's you. Yeah. And then we're just going to put in our hot cast iron skillet right here. Yeah, you know, in Fred Flintstone, the card just flipped over when you put that in there. You know that, right? <laughs> the brontosaurus chop. Yeah, exactly. And we're going to get that. And we're just going to sear that. And then we're going to get our oven at 350. Like I said, I got the shelf in there already. Nice. And then we're going to let these sear about five minutes on each side. And then we're going to put those on the 
in the oven and let it cook for about 10 minutes. Get a little smoky in here. It does get a little smoky. Got a little smoky in here, but that's what you get when you put a big old piece of steak in the yeah, in the, in the cast iron. You got to pay the price. Okay, so history bites coming up March 8th. Uh, big competition there. Uh, you take that pretty seriously, don't you? I mean, you guys. We we it, try to. Yeah. You know? I mean, we don't take it so seriously. Like we get upset that we lose, but we still want to win. But, but you like to go around and sample what everybody else has, right? Of course we do. There it is, $35 in advance. It is March 8th at the Mariners Museum. We'll have so much more leading up to the event. Uh, Chun looks great. Can't wait to see the finished product. All right. Great job. <laughs> All right, we're back now with Chef Jeez. Chun Felix from Opus 9 Steakhouse in Williamsburg and Schlesinger's Steakhouse in Newport News. They're participating in the upcoming History Bites event coming to the Mariners Museum in March. And when we left, Chun had put the steaks in the gr on the griddle. Smoke came up. Next thing you know, fire alarms went off. People went screaming and yelling out of the building. I mean, it's, it almost set off a disaster drill around I'm here. I'm surprised I'm the first one. That's all. You are. First I mean, time in two years I've, I've seen that happen. Yeah, but so. it was pretty impressive, though. It was good to have a little, uh, you know, a little... Uh, Liven up the morning. Yeah, a little smoke so. alarm action here on the Hampton <laughs> Road Show. But uh, uh, like we fun. said, you, uh, when we left you, you put it in there, and now it looks so, great. So now we had them in the oven. We had them seared on the pan. Put them in the oven for about 10 minutes, and then we're letting them rest because you want the meat to rest right. when you cook steaks. Um, biggest people make when they cook steaks, they put them on the grill, they get them off, and then they slice them up right away. But what you want to do is let them sit and let the juices return back to the meat because heat forces all the juice to the middle. You let them sit for a few minutes, the juice comes back out through the whole steak. My answer to that is then it, it gets cold. Or uh, does it? I mean, it does do get do? that. You only have to let it rest for a few minutes. Okay. You don't have to let it rest for like an hour or something like that. Okay. Then, yes, it would get cold. That's right. So, but uh, we're going to top it off with the roasted shallot butter, which we already yeah, mixed up. Yeah, go right ahead. We'll but switch. We're I, going do you to, need this spoon? I'll just I do need grab a spoon it. unless you want to do this. No, that's it. It's all you. All right. you show me how it's done. All right. Restaurant style. Restaurant style. Uh, you could definitely do this. Just scoop the butter right on top of the steak like this. But I'm just going to show you a little trick that we do at the restaurant. It'll end up looking like this right here. Mm -hmm. um, but we're just going to roll it up in parchment paper. And then you just kind of refrigerate it. And then about an hour before you use it, you want to um, pull it out. So, and then you just push it tight like that. And, and you just roll it up. And you got yourself a little log of butter. Okay, so then you put it in the refrigerator and it gets hard. And then you cut it and then you put it on the steak just to serve. Yes. Give it a little extra flavor. So, yep. And we're going to do that. We're going to slice up these steaks right here. I got a couple of pats of butter. I'll slice up real quick before we slice the steaks up. Okay. There, and then we'll get this. So, Chun, where are you from? I am from Newport News originally. Where'd you go to school? Uh, high school? Yeah. I went to Mitchville. Oh, very nice. Class of 92. Go Monarchs. Yes. All right. That's pretty good. You like that, huh? <laughs> where did you go to got? school? Uh, Princess Anne. Ah, What's Princess. our nickname? I have no idea. All right. I just thought I'd try. Cavaliers. Uh, okay, like so UVA. wow. The, yeah, uh, that steak looks delicious. Oh, it's super tender. And juicy. Okay, once again, uh, Chun's in here, and uh, as he plates up, he's here. When we're promoting the uh, History Bites coming to the Mariners Museum March 8th. And uh, it's, there's a food competition with some of the best restaurants in Hampton Roads, including Opus 9 and Schlesinger's, will be there to wow everybody in attendance. It is Saturday, March 8th. Tickets are $35 in advance. It is a wonderful event at the Mariners Museum. Uh, Ariane and some of us will be there having a great old time, and uh, you can go. Are you going to be there? Uh, we'll see about that. I'm not sure just yet, but um, Ariane will be there, and uh, the it's uh, the theme is Civil War, and you're, you you said you're doing corned beef hash. Corned beef believe. hash. So that we're gonna try to win with that. But here's our dish, you know, just the, and most people would share this, of yeah. course. It's a lot of steak, you know, nice little green salad, steak, a couple plates. There you, you go. Can't go wrong. You can find it at Opus Nine Steakhouse. Located at 5143 Main Street in Williamsburg. Give them a call at 643-4779 or look them up online. Opus9Steakhouse.com. Lunch and dinner daily, Sunday brunch. History Bites is Saturday, March 8th and 6th at Mariners Museum and Newport News. Tickets and information. BattleofHamptonRoads.com. John Felix, great job, man. Thank you.